Welcome back everyone. Today we got baseline runs of this pipe Johnson Red 670 and the baseline runs of this big pool in here. This is the 505 83cc unit. Uh, it's in a different chassis but it has a big top end on it. This one's going to get built as a work saw, and this one's going to get built as a gas race saw. It's getting a brand new 272 top end intake block and whatever else we need to do to get it to match this pipe. So that's what we're going to do today. We'll get the baseline runs done on both of these, and we'll see if we can make this 505 outrun or make better power than our 65cc version. Which might be kind of hard to do because that one was ported pretty hot to go fast. But I have a feeling this one will out torque it with the bigger bars. And we're going to make this 670 slash 272 match the power that this pipe is wanting to hit. We'll see exactly where this pipe's wanting to hit. And then we'll port this 272 cylinder to match the pipe the best we can. But let me know if you guys have run the 670s or any of these bigger poolings what they compare to in modern saws then next time we can throw it on the graph with some of the modern ones but we'll get these both fueled up put on the dyno and see what kind of power they actually put out So those baseline runs, they worked out pretty well. The 670, it does have a fresh bottom end. So this saw was all rebuilt before I got it. And it does have a mark on the cylinder. Nothing super horrible. Still ran all right with that. We'll look at the graph in a minute. But that's why he wanted to put the new 272 top end, which I believe is actually a little bit bigger. I think the 670 is smaller. But if I'm wrong, leave a comment. Let me know. I'm not super up to date on the sizes, bores, and strokes of all these Johnson Red models. And our little pooling, well, our pooling didn't do too awful bad. I was kind of hoping for a bit more being, well, I think 83 cc's. But not too awful bad for a baseline. This one's just going to be a straight up work saw. We're not going to do anything crazy or fancy with it. But this one, we'll probably throw some finger ports in. Set the porting aggressive to match that pipe. That pipe was really wanting to reach out and hit up high. But these are both customer builds. And I want to thank everybody that's been placing orders for either of the products or sending your saws in to get ported. We do still have some spots open on the website. And that will all be in the description or just go to worksaws.com. Check it out. Then we got that race coming up in Quincy. That's about three weeks out. That's February 10th in Quincy, Michigan. If you're around, that's a Saturday. I want to say that it starts at like 10 or 11, goes till 4. But I plan on getting a few more saws all around for the Quincy race. And maybe if this one turns out good, I'll ask the owner if he'll let me run it. So we'll take a look at these results. And if you're close, stop by the Quincy race in a few weeks and say hi. So here's the results. Our pipe 670 in red and the pooling in green. On the pooling, 83 cc's, 5.29 horse, 3.75 foot pounds. A little bit of torque, a little bit of horsepower, fairly good size displacement. Now I believe this thing's got a few things working against it. It's stock muffler, completely stock saw. So this isn't. This isn't really any better than like a stock 372 or some of the other 70 cc's. So hopefully we can really pick up some power with this one and make it perform like an 80 cc saw. And on our pipe, you can see we have two peaks. This peak back here, 
is where the ports are wanting to hit, right around 9,000. And we've got the pipe wanting to pull it up 11,000 plus. This carburetor was not wanting to really lean it out a whole lot more RPM wise. So we'll have to see what we have to work with once it's ported. We might have to fiddle with the carb a little bit and see what we can get to do. But it put out 6.7 horse and 3.82 foot pounds. So pretty much everything above 7,500 RPM torque and horsepower was outrunning the larger Poulin. So we'll see if we can keep that trend up. I don't know. Like I said, we're going 72 cc's with 272 top end or right around there. So we're going to be adding some displacement with the 272 top end. We're already at 6.7. Oh, I don't know. It sure would be fun to hit 9 horse. So let me know what you guys think about this one. And once we get done with these, we're definitely going to hit it hard on some of the Quincy projects. So I just want to say thanks to everybody that stuck around. And we're going to try and get back into the swing of things. Get a few more projects back on the channel. But... We got to stay bit we got to stay caught up with the customer project. So, thanks a lot everyone.